first, you know, formally, I'd like to uh, introduce our two guests today, and we have Mr. Pete Dawson. Uh, not to put these in any particular order, because you know, if I was to rank them uh, both, they're they're both equal. It's kind of like children; you don't have a favorite. Um, Anyway, we got Pete Dawson with Fidelity National Title, and and Pete, uh, let's just just for you know consistency, can you just do your normal introduction if we're at tour? How does that go? Oh boy, Josh. Good morning, everybody. Pete Dawson with Fidelity National Title. Boom. That's the one. <laughs> That's it. That's it, buddy. I got it in my head. It's been years. Uh, again, another good. Good friend, favorite, Scott Nordell. Just really quick, guys, how long have you guys been in the industry? I'm, I'm going on 27 years with Fidelity. Wow. I've been uh, coming up on 17 years with Fidelity. Yeah. You're just like a baby, Scott. I mean, you know, 17 years at one company. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, hey, what does that say, guys? It's consistency, right? And that just shows how much uh, you appreciate your company and those that you work alongside with. Just really quick, as far as your titles, just touch on that a little bit in the areas that you guys covered. Yeah. Starting with Pete. Well, Scott and I are, are we're, we're partners. We are sales executives, and my role with the company is covering from El Dorado Hills to Placerville. Got it. Thanks, bud. And, and as same as Pete, same as Pete, I'm a sales executive for Fidelity, and my area is basically El Dorado Hills to Folsom. I'll let you guys know that these guys, even though like with me, there's other LOs in my office that cover, you know, some kind of similar territory, loan officers in the, in the market, we just are really good about making sure we respect each other and we support each other and, you know, we're not stepping on toes and we're just manage, managing our business and trying to help as many as we can. And you guys together do a really good job with that. I, do commend you and I mean that. So today, as I kind of mentioned to you guys, and I appreciate the time the other day on the phone, just kind of brainstorming. As you guys know, uh, there's no better, you know, connection than, than those in our own community and that we've worked with for as long as we have. And you two are, you know, a display of that and we appreciate it. Uh, you know, right now what we're trying to do is just dispel any uh, you know, misunderstandings by the consumer or, you know, pre um, meditated thoughts that they may have or whatever it is. So in an effort to kind of clarify, um, we had talked about just doing a quick uh, conversation about <clears throat> some of the most commonly asked questions. Wire fraud is a real deal, and we have to be very cautious and very safe for our clients. So we want to protect our borrowers and buyers and sellers, and to make sure wire fraud is not happening. And I'm going to tag on that a little bit, Josh. Yeah. Um, I just got a stat this morning from our county manager. Um, the cyber attacks are, are huge right now. And one of the stats I got was cyber fraud in our industry, and this is across the board for title escrow companies, is up 667% since February. Um, consumers are actually getting texts now from the fraudsters, and the fraudsters are, fraudsters are actually acting like escrow officers and trying to get the consumer to wire their funds to a different account. And we just put for the record, as a company, we will never text our clients and ask them for wire information. Right. As a company, we will never do that. Just don't forget to call first. Call title first before you wire. Um, make sure that you're confirming what you receive, be it from me or from anybody, you know, in terms of wire instructions. Don't just assume and then call your financial planner and have them send it on over, right? So I we do it every time. And, you know, I know the girls at the office, uh, let's say the staff at the office, are all very good at that. So, so I just love your home office. <laughs> great, what a great office. Is that a locking cabinet you have behind you? No, th this is a Murphy bed. It can serve as a guest bed, but it can also serve as a um, as the couch for the husband, should he do something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a file cabinet. Oh, it's great. You could put files in there if you really want. <laughs> But thank you, Peter. I appreciate it. Okay, so so to answer your question regarding recording, so our company, um, 
we're, we're latest technology on recording. And with El Dorado County, for example, we do e-recordings, which we send the recording package directly to the recording desk at the County of El Dorado. Um, so they have one person specifically working on e-recordings. And um, so that really streamlines the process. We don't have to go to the counter with the recording package anymore. Um, it's all done electronically, which really is an efficient way to record documents. We offer a product called Gap Insurance. Gap Insurance is this. We can close the escrow, disperse all the funds with recording to follow. Um, we have up to 30 days to record the transaction. And hey guys, this is not a plug to you or Fidelity, but can you elaborate on your ability to e-record versus other offices in the title business? Is it is it standard practice? I Josh, I, we, Scott and I only know what Fidelity National Title's best practices are. We're not, I'm not certain what the other title companies are, okay. are set up for recording practices, but for certain, Fidelity is at the cutting edge when it comes to recording. Once we get an escrow open, we request a preliminary title report. And that process takes about one to two days to get a preliminary title report. And you, you're looking for that report as soon as you can get it to see if there's any red flags, anything of record that might stand out. If we have some liens to pay off, um, delinquent taxes, all that will show on the prelim. Anything on, on that, Scott? I'm sure. No, he, he, he said it perfectly. Yeah, ditto, ditto, ditto that. It's great, too, to know that you guys have the gap insurance. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't even know about that, <clears throat> be it in title or in an auto purchase, right? It's a similar type of thing, just covers di something different. And it still gives you or that homeowner, you know, or a purchaser the ability to still close in a timely manner and that seller to get on to what their next venture is. So I think that's that's great. And I sum it up with this, unless you guys want to, of course, add anything else. But um, do you feel that customer service has changed, you know, in your environment through COVID? And uh, if so, how and, and how do you guys manage it? Great question, Josh. So customer service, yes. Um, Scott and I are probably in a little bit different class. We give the best customer service to our clients, bar none. We do, man. <laughs> but really, since we, we when our customers are contacting us, we are on it with a property profile, farm request, uh, net sheet, anything our clients are looking for, we are on it. Scott, anything to echo on that? You know, again, like Pete, I've, I've worked in other industries and, and I was prior manager for Lucky and Albertson stores and going back to customer service, that's that was your main priority. And even today in title and escrow, it's a different industry, but that is my number one as it is as Pete's customer service, whether it be the lender, the real estate agent or the consumer that we have helped or delivered documents to or did signings for, that's our priority. Right. There's a reason why you two are in the in the position that you're in, and uh, not that you guys are yes men, but you you are, and you do a good job at it, right? You're not just saying yes Thank because you. you want to. And I, again, this is this is not an attempt to to plug you or Fidelity, but as you guys know, we've we've worked with you guys for many many years, and though we share the wealth, of course, you know, occasionally, you're in our fave five, if you will. So. Uh, it's probably more like faith too, but but uh, you're you're in there, and we'd love to support you guys. This was kind of in an effort just to kind of clarify some, you know, some common questions. And though we know that there are more, uh, we encourage uh, those questions because we're here to help provide those answers where when we can. So if we don't have them, we'll certainly reach out to folks like Pete and Scott. I certainly appreciate you guys' time today. And, and Pete, you were going to say something too. Oh no, um, the Zoom meetings, Josh, you've been doing Zoom bomb bomb videos. You've been doing this for quite some time. I think you're an industry leader when it comes to video. You started maybe 15 years ago um, as part of your business screen. And yeah. Scott and I are getting pretty good at it, but you definitely are a leader when it comes to video. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for that, bro. And uh, yeah, I, I made my first uh, video <clears throat> at seven. Uh, which was just 15 years ago. <laughs> uh, oh man, I, I, I love it. And you know, there's those commonly asked questions. So we just try to keep that information out there as a resource. Not, not that we don't want to be able to talk to a thousand people in a day, 
or whatever it is, 500 or 100, you know, um, in an effort to just try to reach it. it the, the video uh, certainly helps. And like this kind of stuff right now will be around and we'll do another one when the market changes a little bit, guys. And that's just where we're at. We got to be up with what's happening and be able to share, you know, truth and uh, reality and not kind of, you know, because uh, again, like I said in our last conversation, man, is knowledge is power, right? So the more we know, the better equipped we are to make those those decisions. And uh, and we need industry alike, you, uh, realtors, ourselves, you know, notaries, whatever, to be able to be there and provide, you know, accurate information um, in the best of our ability. So awesome. thanks guys for the time today. I certainly appreciate it. Awesome, thank you, Josh. All right, guys. Thanks, Josh. Love the home office. <laughs> I'll change it for you next time. I'll do a funny background, all right? I'll maybe put like feet over my shoulder. I kind of like that turkey Very bowl cool. that we did. You remember that turkey bowl uh, where Trent oh, put God. my yeah. face on the turkey? <laughs> Classic, yes. Yeah, we threw awesome. strikes with it. Yeah, I don't know if we won, but I felt like a winner. All right, guys, let's connect Thanks, soon, man. golf and uh, or something, and we'll we'll catch up. I appreciate it.